If you're using an iOS device and audio tools, you may want to check out Larsa. Larsa stands for Loudspeaker and Room System Analyzer, and you could use the microphone on your iOS device, or you can pair it with a calibrated microphone such as the iTest Mic 2. Larsa helps you calibrate your speakers so that your listening position is optimized. This can be used in a studio environment, a home entertainment system, or in setting up car speakers. Larsa will take a look at things such as latency, in terms of the distance from the listener to the speaker. It'll take a look at frequency response in multiple areas around your room. And it'll also help you set up your speakers to make sure that you've got the speakers set up properly with things such as bass cut and high emphasis so that you get the flattest frequency response possible. Take your baseline measurement using iTest Mic or the internal microphone on your iOS device. Open your wrench icon and check to make sure that your latency is set at zero seconds. You have two options for your sweep. One is a half a second chirp and the other is a 1.5 second chirp. You will find that the 1.5 second chirp will be a little longer, but give you a little more accurate of a result. Tap measure for an impulse response. We get our first analysis curve. We get an ETC or energy time curve. We get an impulse response and then we get a 3D representation known as a spectrogram. Use two fingers to zoom in on the energy time curve. Use one finger to slide over to adjust and figure out your latency. Our latency is at 11 milliseconds. Tap the wrench icon and set your latency at 11 milliseconds. Let's clear our test by going here, go to Erase All Tests, and let's try this test one more time. Now let's go back and check our ETC curve to double check and make sure we have zero latency. Now we have figured out the reference latency of our system. This ensures that all future tests will have a proper relative latency as we move away from the speaker. You could test your monitors by doing a close measurement right up against the speaker, one at your listening position, and then one at the diffuse field, which could be a distant listening position. Now we could compute how much latency we have at different places around the room. Let's try testing our monitors and do a second test by touching test two. Now we've completed three different tests. Test one shows us right up against the speaker. Test two shows us right at the listening position. And test three shows us in the diffuse field. If you go to the wrench icon, you could select to show just one single test. You also have the ability to show all tests layering on top of each other or average, which shows the average frequency response of all curves. If you're interested in saving your tests, this is possible in the save screen where you can save, label, and recall tests at any future point. For those of you interested in tuning your monitors to your room, using an average of multiple tests can give you an idea of what you need to adjust on the back of your monitors. You could do eight measurements around your listening position and then do a spatial average around the sweet spot to smooth out your modal behavior and get an average measurement. This is great for setting EQ settings on monitors or DSP software to help balance your listening environment. In this example, I've done eight different tests and you can see all eight examples on top of each other. By selecting average, I get a better idea of how my monitors are performing in this specific room. Check out Larsa today to better understand your room get the best balanced sound possible within your room.